This is the Solite stove from the Solite Stove Corporation. We're here with the inventor today and we're going to show how you can use it to test oil for water out at a local site. Uh, it's really cool in that it doesn't take hardly anything to get this thing going. We're going to light this stove up and it is lit and going. We've probably got the uh, ultimate condition for testing this in today. It's uh, snowing outside, it's cold, we're on the ground, and uh, it's lit up and going. Ah, nice fire. We have a sample of oil that we're going to test here that we really don't know what the water content is. We suspect that it's kind of wet because it's got a cloudy look to it. Oil that typically has a nice uh, clear look to it typically isn't wet, but this one's, this one's good and what we suspect is wet. We'll find out just how wet it is. Now going to uh, take our pot. This pot's probably not the ideal pot to use on this because it's got a very thick bottom, but uh, you can still use a inexpensive pot. We're going to watch how quick it's going to heat this thing up. There's a little bit of moisture in that pot and so... Oh, I hear the bloom going. Oh boy, that pan ought to heat up really good. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> we can see this is already starting to uh, melt in here. This is the all the much hotter you really want this to go because if you've got oil and it's got a lot of water, you don't want to be causing a splatter. So I'm not going to put a whole lot in here, but this pot is now good and hot and I've got a sample of oil. I'm not using very much at all. You'll notice I'm using just just enough to fill the bottom of my vial here and I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. We're going to see if it splatters or hisses or pops and see just how wet this is. If you can look really close, we have bubbles coming up. This oil is definitely wet and so this oil you would definitely want to dry before you make it into biodiesel. Look how quick that was. Within a matter of minutes, I had a hot flame on a hot skillet, and I was able to instantly test to see if my oil had water in it. In sub-freezing In sub-freezing weathers. It is literally snowing out here. It's a really, really neat product. We think it's a great alternative to going inside and using your wife's cooking stove and making a mess. This is something that you can do on site. Notice how we could probably fry something up in that. Oh, Look at that. Question. We've, uh, we've got nice hot oil going here, and uh, that's how quick and easy it is to use one of these stoves. Did you bring the bacon? Uh, I, think, uh, I think I need to go get it. We really are frying here. 